good clap oh my god hey right guys platinum hunter here and today we're going to be doing another listed video we haven't done one in a while it's been a couple of months i think since we last did a listed video so it's been enough time i felt like today we'd do another 10 platinums that i just completely gave up on for one reason or another it could be a little small tiny reason that i gave up on the platinum or like my house burned down that didn't happen but it could be something like that for a reason why i gave up with the platinum and even then even if my house did burn down to be fair we've done a part one for this already so if there's 10 platinums that aren't mentioned on here uh, that's on my list it might be over on that video so i'll link it down below if you do want to check that one out and for number 10 on the list we're going to start with grand theft auto 4 now i don't have grand theft auto 5 on ps3 or 4 but i'm only it's only the online stuff that i'm missing it's like get to the max level so i'm going to do that at some point but gta 4 i remember actively just being like i'm done because of the online stuff felt like i probably could have done some of these i remember trying to get the explode 10 vehicles within 10 seconds and then finding every pigeon in the game how many is there like a thousand there's not a thousand there is a lot of pigeons to go for though again probably could have done that if i really wanted to but it was these online uh trophies even though i did really enjoy gta 4 i think it's one of the better gta games actually and i've played all of them apart from the the very first one and i want to say gta 2 but i think no in gta 2 the bird's eye view one i've played that one actually way back in the day uh so literally only the first one's the one that i haven't played um so yeah gta 4 one of the better ones for sure uh looking at it there's always those trophies where you're just missing all those plans where you are just missing one singular trophy prison break <laughs> Do, can you guys remember that prison break actually had a game back when every tv show and every film ever would have a game kind of alongside it this game was actually pretty good it was very quick to get through you could blast through it uh, in a couple of hours or maybe like three-ish hours or something once you knew what you were doing uh, but yeah I went through the entire game got all the trophies I needed to get minus the one here complete every chapter without being seen it's not super rare 14.70% I'm going to assume that's the rarest trophy in the game it is but it's still not super rare like at 14% However, I attempted this three times in total. And like I say, not the longest game, so that wasn't too much time. It's still a lot of time uh, back in 2010 as well when there were so many games to play. But I tried this three times, and each time I followed a guide, Followed, I think there was a video as well that I followed uh, scene for scene, chapter for chapter, went all the way through, and the trophy just didn't pop three times. And I don't know if it's so much the case now, uh, I'll check, but I seem to remember it was known as a kind of bugged trophy. Let's have a look. It probably isn't now. Grind. It just says grind and missable. Uh, but yeah, this didn't pop for me. I remember completing the game all three times and just sitting there waiting. Especially on the PS3 days. You know, and like a trophy would take about 10 minutes to actually pop. So they're like this and each one to no avail. But again, this is going to be one. Uh, I have a video idea where I'm going to go through 10 or 5 games where I was like this close to getting the Platinum and getting them. And I feel like this might be one of them. I'd have to get a PS3 because I don't have a PS3 anymore. But um, 9 chapters, so it's really not that long uh, but i can't believe i didn't get that kind of sad but that is again after the third time i was like i'm done i'm not, I'm not trying a fourth time uh, and it's literally eight hours to get the entire platinum it's really not even that bad oh god this game not alien versus predator that was actually a pretty good online game um i guess i kind of stopped playing this one i won't say i gave up on this one i just got bored of it but the online to this i actually remember being pretty good fun but the one i actually gave up on was predator hunting grounds um i had every intention of going for this platinum i mean it's actually kind of rare at 1.41 percent and i looked through all the trophies i was like yeah these seem doable like playing a thousand member trophies that's going to be like kind of boring but i guess it's doable work with your team to kill a predator it's like okay yeah i could probably pull that off i guess play all these boring like grinding ones but there was one uh i think it was this one I want to say that's the rarest yeah as the predator travel a total of 100 kilometers but in the trees so in my head i was like oh i could just like strap an elastic band around the controller because i've done that before and like dying like two and stuff just leave the playstation on overnight and it'll do it but that doesn't work you have to actively i mean it could work i've not looked too deeply into it but i from my memory of reading the guys and stuff you have to actively like actually move around the trees with the predator and it's so slow it's so slow let me show you how long this 150 hours and most of that most of that is just 
traveling through the trees <laughs> it's like sounds great doesn't it sounds real good fun uh no there was no way i was like i'm not there's other games i can play and again maybe this is one of those where I, at some point but this is an online only game so i feel like the servers are probably going to go down at some point when i read that the servers are going down in like two to three months i know i'm going to load up this game and attempt the platinum in some way but for right now absolutely not i'm not jumping through trees for 150 hours so that is another platinum that i gave up on now this one i'm definitely going to go back to at some point like this one i'm 100 percent going back to but another evil game <laughs> got all the resident evils uh, which we'll we will talk about resident evil game in a minute for sure but for right now the evil within two i got the platinum for evil within which is was on my list for 10 of my proudest platinums because that was a really difficult one but evil within two not actually as is the first one's rarer i believe rarer that sounds like it isn't a word, but I'm going to say it's a word anyway. Yeah, the first one's 4% basically, and this one is 1118 so this one's actually more common. I don't know, I felt like I'd, I come, I came from this straight after playing the first one, so Evil Within was very fresh in my mind, and I love the Evil Within games, I think both of them are great. I'd actually be very happy if we got a third one and just made it a trilogy, but we can hold out hope. However, with this one, the first one was just difficult, like you would just die very quickly, but you'd always start at the like the last checkpoint and the checkpoints were fairly reasonable apart from a few areas here and there where it was actually kind of ridiculous <laughs> whereas this is not as difficult as the first one however if you die you go back to your last save instead of the last checkpoint and you can only save a total of i believe three times in the entire game so but yeah it was not happening um i died i got to the first save actually i got to the first save which is around chapter four but then you have to do chapter four to i want to say seven or eight and i died about not that many like maybe four times but again you're losing about two hours at that point and this wasn't one of the deaths this was one of the deaths before i got to the first save but one of the deaths i am not even joking i was so you have like a hq safe house area uh, where you kind of go to do the save i was in the hq save area after two hours ready to go to the typewriter i think i was like upgrading a weapon or something like that the game crap not it didn't crash it did the thing that playstation does where it's like shutting down your game and just told me to the main menu or whatever um that at that point i was like debating whether to continue but i actually made it through to the first save and then it was like after another five times of losing an hour and a half to two hours i was like yeah that's it that's enough of that i think it wasn't so much the game i felt like i probably could have done it it was just because i'd played so much evil within at that point um, I wanted to move on to something else, but that is one I'm definitely going to go back to at some point. But as of right now, I gave up on it, I'm afraid to say. Let's stay with our evils while we're here in our zombie game. We've spoken about, in the last one, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, that being an online game that I gave up, gave up on. Let's talk about the second <laughs> Resident Evil online game that I gave up on, which was, of course, Resident Evil Resistance. I played this for genuinely two days i want to say on the 13th and on the 14th oh and the 15th wow i was being generous with that and that's it i played it for three days and that was enough for me <laughs> i was like I'm, i can't is it even that rare 4.6 percent it's not the rarest platinum i guess but 8 out of 10 difficulty that is pretty difficult 40 hours isn't that bad to be fair i thought it'd be a lot longer so again I know I've said this is more the Platinum so far, but maybe one that I do go back to when they announce that the servers are going down at some point. Uh, I'm assuming this is still attainable, but um, yeah, it was just so boring. I don't know. I still don't know why Resident Evil feels the need to tack on these online games that no one cares about. It looks like the that is to, that is yesterday's date, so the Platinum is definitely still obtainable. So I might go for it at some point. I, like I've always said, I would really like to have all the Resident Evil games platinum even though i literally can't do that because there's that one here that is <laughs> literally unattainable but um yeah maybe at some point because like I say i've got so many of the resident evil platinums the only one missing really is this the first resident evil and then that game and then the one that's unattainable but uh, what can i do really who knows if anyone wants to help with that one let me know but my god i don't think i'd like torture someone to that game so i'll go out solo with it but uh, yeah, after three days of it, I was like, I'm done. This is so boring. <laughs> that was literally just a case of it wasn't too hard. It was just so boring that I could not be asked. So there you go. Oh my God. 
So I've just clicked onto Operation Raccoon City. And people are still getting the platinum. Really? Oh my god, guys, what if? What if Fallen Idols? Guys, I didn't even know. How? How, 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 how? In Heroes mode, eliminate four heroes. And... That's the only trophy I'm missing, right? Oh no, Epic Standards, what's that? Upgrade all abilities. Come on. still playing it oh my god what i could have sworn this was unattainable guys 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 i'm excited i'm gonna buy a ps3 <laughs> let's do it we got this let's get a ps3 all right this one is just simple okay Sim simple simply a case of get good tetris effect oh my god i'm not like a tetris master or anything like that but uh yeah this was feels like a lot of these trophies are doable but that was one where you had to was it get s Get SS rank everywhere. That's the one. SS rank. Just everywhere. On every level, all over the place, on every mode. Oh, no. The difficulty on this, I want to say, is like an 8 or 9. 9 out of 10. Wow. 150 hours. You have to be a Tetris master, basically, to get this. And I was not good enough. I'm decent at Tetris. Like, as good as most people are at Tetris. But you have to be, like, literally the 0.1% of people uh, of Tetris to be able to get this so I mean if I sat there and played nothing but Tetris for an entire year then maybe I could get to it at some point but I'm not going to do that I don't love Tetris that much as addictive as Tetris is uh it's not for me that addictive <laughs> there's other things I can do so yeah this was just a case of I wanted to play it because I, I heard it was so good and it is a really really good game yeah I just there's too much skill that needs to go into that and I just I don't have the time or the brain power to really stick with it. So, uh, yeah, that was another one I gave up on. And at number seven, our seventh game, The Lord of the Th Rings. I don't know about that one. Uh, we have spoken about a Lord of the Rings game before, I believe. <laughs> it top ten, Maybe it's top ten proudest platinums and it was Gollum. Yeah, I, I have the Gollum platinum. Am I still in the top? Last when I, when I last checked, I was in like the first 50 people to get it. Oh, I am. I'm at number 23. The 23rd person to get Gollum. So that's my claim to fame. But the platinum I gave up on was Lord of the Rings Conquest. So anyway, <laughs> it was, uh, was a game that I gave up on. I love the Lord of the Rings game. Well, that's a lie. I feel like you either have some great Lord of the Rings games or you have some ass. Oh my god, you have some ass Lord of the Rings games, <laughs> which is such a shame. However, the Lord of the Rings Conquest fell into the... I won't say one of the best. It wasn't like Return of the King or third age it wasn't on that level but it was close it was almost there uh, very addictive i remember going to actually buy this game at game um then me and mates made a whole day of playing it basically but uh yeah really fun game a lot of online stuff that i don't think i mean i'm gonna check but i don't think it is gonna be attainable anymore oh wait mm, no i don't think so i don't think so <laughs> someone did earn it this year but i bet they had like one of the campaign trophies or something that they were missing because then it goes 2022 21 and then 2016 <laughs> so that's quite the jump uh, but yeah just online stuff that was not going to go through the pain to be fair this was around the time where like i was really into call of duty and fifa and all that stuff so i was just focusing on other games uh, but it was in my era of going for platinum still so i did actively give up on this one such a shame but uh yeah so that'll be one that'll be forever lost but you know what some good memories of this game so i don't regret playing it and having the platinum unattainable because i have some really good memories of it uh and a really good game as well so it's a shame they forced it to be online but as is every game so that was number seven this is just another case of get good and i couldn't get good <laughs> xcom 2 again a really really great fun game very rare platinum 0.87 percent wow I played it in 2017 originally, and then I picked it up again in... Did I pop any trophy? Yeah, I picked it up again in 2022, and I just... I wasn't good enough. <laughs> I wasn't good enough. Uh, you have to... I'm going to assume it's like an 8 out of 10 difficulty or something. 9 out of 10. Wow. Yeah. Again, maybe if I focused on it, kind of like with Tetris Effect, if I just focused on this and nothing else for a year, maybe I could pull it off, but I've, I just don't have the... <laughs> there's other games, as I always say, there's always something else to play at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I think it was this trophy. I beat the game on Commander Plus difficulty 
in Iron Man mode. Just not good enough. Very hard game, very hard game. So that's number eight. This next one is genuinely the only game I've ever broken a controller over. Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard. <laughs> and it's not even rare. Wow, look at him. He looks like Bruce Willis or something. My God. Uh, yeah, it's not even that rare. It's actually a pretty fun game, but that was one bit, and I've said this before in another video, I know I have, but that was one bit where I was on the hardest mode, which I think is one of the trophies that I was missing. Yeah, complete the game on the maximum hazard difficulty. That was like the trophy I was going for, but there was one bit where there was a sniper a guy with a sniper and you have to like go from cover to cover to dodge his bullets and I must have tried for about three four hours straight of trying to get that one part and I just could not do it maybe maybe it was like 30 minutes though you know you like look back on things and the time's just all distorted maybe it was actually about 30 minutes I broke the controller and then couldn't continue anymore I remember the controller is a ps3 controller so they were very breakable anyway uh, <laughs> and I just dashed it on the ground it didn't it didn't like bounce and hit the TV luckily, but it was crumbling and I remember just like putting sellotape around both the handles and like trying to peel it back together and it still kind of worked but not for much longer. Um, so yeah, the only game I've ever broken controller over was Eat Lead. Wow, is the Platinum still attainable? I mean, I assume it will be, yeah. People, people have got it this year, wow. So yeah, again, probably one of those that I'll go back to if it is only one. There's no guides for it, so I don't know. What did these What did these publishers go on to do? What the hell? Word of anime stuff. Cool. Ben 10, the Omniverse. And as for my final Platinum, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like as it does help. We have Platinums for Black Ops 3 and other games that i can't remember <laughs> we've done plans for some games you can check them out i might do also uh the next listed video i might do another 10 platinums that i'm proud of so i'll try and make it uh, flip it on the positive side because there's more platinums that i've obtained since last year that i've become very very proud of but the last platinum that i gave up on uh, well not the last but the last one on this list because there's another 10 that i could probably go for oh it's overwatch not overwatch 2 but it's been called overwatch 2 now i guess i've changed it yeah, I actually actively was trying to get this Platinum because um, it's one of those games I kind of dip back to every other year. Like 2016, I played through it. 2017, I went back to it. 2020, I went back to it. And then I must have played a bit in 20... Maybe not 2021, maybe like 2019 or something. Uh, so yeah, it was always one of those games I just kind of come back to every now and again because it was really good fun. I've not played it since 2020. Um, but yeah, I felt like it just got to a point where some of these trophies were just... I wasn't even, like, enjoying the online games. I was just trying to get the trophies in the games, and it just wasn't happening. Uh, there's, like, quite a few I've missed out on. I think they're mostly the rarest ones, uh, for the most part. Yeah, it's, like, all the rare ones. Apart from this, kill four enemies with a single use of Genji's Dragon Blade. Got that in 2017, lucky me. Get four killing blows with a single use of McCree's Dead Eyes. Like, I read these, and I'm like, I could do that. I could probably pull that off, but I tried uh, for so many of these. Just like, I, I tried for this one, wouldn't get it, so I'm like, okay, I'll go for this one instead. Couldn't get that one, and that was just the cycle for all of these trophies at a point. Uh, so I gave up on that one. Again, maybe at some point. It would be really nice to just have the Overwatch Platinum. I feel like out of all of them, minus the Resident Evil ones, because I just do just want all the Resident Evil games, it would be nice to say I have the Overwatch Platinum, because it's just one of these games that, like I've said, I've always gone back to. Cool, And I have really good memories with Overwatch as well. I know it's kind of gone to the dumps now. Have they added trophies? Are these all... What are, the... what are these? What the hell? These weren't here originally, were they? Correct me if I'm wrong, but these were not here. When... First Achievers 2022. Okay, so they have added trophies on. Oh, I guess because they keep adding characters, I guess maybe that's what it is. Do let me know. I, I didn't even know these were a thing, so I, I might go back to it again. I am kind of in the Overwatch. I want to play Overwatch sometimes. But yeah, there are 10 more Platinums that I gave up on in some way or another. Like I say, some of these I would really like to go back to in this year. I want to get the Prison Break one for sure and make that a video. They did a first video where there's 10 other Platinums that I gave up on, so if you haven't checked out that video, it'll be linked down below. They've, they've got some other ones that are like Mad Max that still haunts me to this day and some other ones that still <laughs> haunt me. But, but thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you for the 10, platinum, uh, 10 more Platinums that I'm proud of. And then our next Platinum video will be soon i'm moving out in the next week or so basically so i'm getting all that set up and then we'll start with the next platinum video whatever that might be uh, until then take care peace